What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Today I'm going to be talking about squatting every single day. And for a lot of people, this has become kind of a, a hip thing to do or, you know, it's, it's a hashtag kind of deal. And a lot of people are doing it and I think a lot of people are doing it for the wrong reason. Uh, they're doing it because they think this is going to accelerate top end strength. And I don't necessarily agree with that statement. Um, I think it can work for top end strength for a short time, but as a system of implementation for max strength over a career or over you know an extended period of time, I think you have to be really, really uh, delicate with this and be thoughtful of what you're doing and why you're doing it. So for me, uh, throughout the various surgeries I've had, I've had 11 knee surgeries on my left knee and two years of coming back, I usually stuck to a pretty typical powerlifting routine or powerlifting split of squatting once per week. Um, and what this would do was I would go in uh, following a cube type rotation, I would still follow the explosive training, the rep training, or the heavy training. And the explosive training was actually telling, giving me good feedback. My knee would feel good, my leg would feel good. Uh, very, very few, I guess what you would call side effects from squatting. But the rep day and the heavy day were really kind of beating me up. So what I rationalized was here I am doing this squatting, I'm going in feeling good, and then I go sit on the couch for you know four or five days in between my, my squat and my deadlift and my knee just sits there inactive. So this last go around in the last couple of surgeries, I've kind of voiced this opinion to my doctor or my surgeon that, you know, maybe I need to be doing more. And he's a little bit hesitant to say yes because everything in the medical field, you know, is let it rest, let it rest, let it heal, let it, you know, uh, fully fuse back together and bond and everything like that. And for me, my idea was why not let it heal doing what it's supposed to be doing? Very, very minimal weight, very, very minimal movement. Um, you know, in the beginning, but slowly progressing. So what I adapted to in the, in my thought process was follow the cube rotation that I, that I've put myself under, but maximize it over a seven day period. So Monday was explosive training, something in the neighborhood of, you know, well, back that up. Initially, I just kind of took a, a day where I went in and I worked up to whatever I could comfortably. And that was about 400 pounds. You know, that was, uh, and I know that sounds crazy, but you've got to think, you know, my body just prior to this surgery, I was squatting 750. Um, my best squat, and that was in knee sleeves. My best squat ever um, in knee sleeves is, is 777. And my best uh, wrap, knee wrap squat was 843. So for me, a 400 pound squat is relatively low. It's, it's 40 or I mean 50% or a little bit under uh, off of the 843. So taking that into consideration, you have to just go in and figure out where you are. You know, 400 pounds for me was, it might as well have been a thousand pounds on this particular day because it felt heavy. But in reality, for my body and what my back is used to, what my good leg is used to, um, the way it felt, it felt very, very light. Now to my left leg, it felt tremendous so keep that in mind so I set my I set my numbers around 400 pounds so that meant on my explosive day around 50 to 60 percent I'm working with 225 to 245 pounds on my explosive day on my repetition day somewhere in the 80 percent range uh, 75 to 80 percent range I'm working with about 300 to 325 pounds on my heavy day now that I know that I can do 400 for a single that meant I was doing 90% like 360 365 trying to maximize doubles and triples I had to remove the thought process of doing singles altogether so here I have this little micro cycle Monday Tuesday Wednesday explosive day rep day heavy day so when I hit 365 for two on that first Wednesday I put that in the back of my head started the cycle over on Thursday up to everything five pounds except for my heavy day. 
I tried to add a rep. So instead of going 360 or 370 for two, I went 365 for three. And what that allowed me to do was every time I hit a triple, I then up the weight five or 10 pounds. And that way throughout the first few weeks of training, as my strength curve was very, very high and my body was adapting very, very quickly, having those two heavier days where I was pushing the reps, um, I could monitor my, my progress very, very rapidly and give that feedback to myself. So if I could do 365 for say five, I knew that next Wednesday coming around, I was gonna have to push it up even more than maybe five or 10 pounds. So I accelerated very, very quickly. And on my Sundays, I was doing pause squats, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to 70%, just working on going down and letting the knee stretch in the bottom. And I'm, most of the time you're gonna see me refer people to a one or two second pause. For myself in this situation, I was doing anywhere from five to eight second pauses with you know, 300 to 350 pounds, just letting my body drop, trying to loosen the hips up, loosen the knee up, feel confident in the hole. And over time, you know, I kept progressing and progressing and progressing. So again, just to give you an overview, Monday was explosive, Tuesday was rep, Wednesday was heavy, cycle restarted again. Thursday was explosive, uh, Friday was rep, Saturday was heavy, Sunday was pause. That worked really, really well for a while. And then what happened was, is my heavy days started to actually become heavy, you know, to the point where I wasn't gaining reps or I wasn't gaining five pounds every week. So what I switched to was once a week going heavy and I made my heavy days now front squats. The reason being for me personally is that the quad tendons are very, very sensitive even after two years on my right leg um, I still feel my quad tendon very, very tight uh, in the movement. So I try to be hyper aware of that. I try to be hyper vigilant about getting it mobile and working it. So now Mondays are explosive days. Tuesdays are a rep day. Wednesdays are a front squat day, somewhere in the neighborhood between an explosive and a rep percentage range. So right around 70% is what I'm doing my front squats with and then just start the cycle over on Thursday. Explosive day on Thursday, rep day on Friday, front squat on Saturday, and then on Sunday, I take my heavy day. So every single week, I am still testing through reps what my heavy squats are and what my ability to squat more is. So every week I'm going up maybe five, 10 pounds at this point, but it slowed down. In the beginning, I was able to go very, very quickly and see a lot of success, but now that it's gotten to a certain point, I'm not able to force it like I was. So once I get to about the 600 pound mark, what I, cause I'm right now, I'm around 575, 580. Once I get to the 600 pound mark, my understanding of how my body is gonna progress at that point is I may just drop the, um, the front squats, give my two, myself two days off per week to have a little bit more recovery. But I will say this, through an understanding of what my body is capable of doing and the you know increased amount of time that I'm under the bar, the more you do something, the less fear you have of doing it, I guess. You know, whenever I was going in once a week, I had to build myself up to get under the bar and actually dedicate to doing the work. But going into the gym every single day, yeah, I'll go in there and I'll be stiff and I'll be a little tight from the workout the day before. But as I get warming up and as I get going, my knees actually feel better. I actually feel more confident as I go. And on the timeline, I'm doing seven, previously seven weeks of work in seven days. As far as the repetitions and the amount of movement that I'm getting and the amount of blood that I'm pushing through the legs. And from a healing standpoint, as long as I stay in control of the weights on the bar and I don't let my ego get the best of me, that's the best thing that can happen for the body, you know, putting the body through work that it can do and having a rep range or a, or a weight range in mind that slowly keeps you progressing is what the body needs at this point. You know, it's very, very challenging for me to sit there and look and say, you know, I'm proud of a 550 pound squat when I've done 775 or 800 in the past. And it's humbling, but 
the quickest road to recovery is the one that you stay injury free on. If I push too hard and I set myself back, I'm right back at square one. But if I keep taking these little steps forward, if I keep doing the right things and I keep challenging myself in the right way, as long as I'm moving forward, I'm that much closer to my goal. And for me, squatting every day has been something that I really, really have come to believe in. I've noticed a, a nice uh, recovery in the size of my legs. Um, it was very, very embarrassing to me after I fell, you know, how quickly the legs, you know, when they're casted, just draw up. They they just, they do. I mean, any, you put anything in a cast for an extended period of time and stop the amount of movement that you're used to, you're gonna atrophy uh, really, really quickly. And that's what I was seeing in both of my legs. And I was, you know, I looked like one of those um, muscle head cartoons, you know, the big upper body and the, the skinny legs. So this has been really beneficial for me, uh, not only from a musculature standpoint, but from a strength standpoint. So I would encourage you, even if you've not had an injury, if you want to employ this, back your overall max down a little bit, maybe even a hundred pounds, and just set yourself up for success by doing, you know, proper and adequate rep ranges and percentage ranges that will allow you to keep doing this every day. Because if you do this too heavily, or you do, you know, too many reps, you're gonna find yourself wearing out pretty quickly. Cause I have done that. I've pushed a little bit too hard early on in some of the weeks. And man, it was, it was pretty brutal to get back in there the next day or even the next day. But if you do it right, I think for at least a, a mini cycle, 12 weeks to 16 weeks or even 20 weeks, you can employ this, find a lot of success, improve your squat, improve your musculature, and then go back to a powerlifting routine. And I think you'll benefit from it. I, I myself moving forward, I'm probably gonna continue squatting even at my healthiest two to three times a week, just in different variations because I like the stimulation and I like the way it feels. So some food for thought. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.